It is Monday, which means time for Chamber Talk here on KMCD. Mindy McAdams joins us in the studios. I want to remind you that you can sign up for the Monday morning newsletter, Chamber Chatter, which will be in your mailbox by 8 o'clock every Monday morning. Sort of give you an overview of some of the highlights in the county and in the city. And then you can also log on to FairfieldIowa.com anytime to check out the calendar of events. Also a great wealth of information there for Chamber members and all sorts of stuff. Hi, Mindy. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fantastic. We would like to start today by talking about we're now three weeks away from oh, the yes. business um, annual is, awards banquet annual awards banquet that's right the annual <laughs> all awards the bling <laughs> um ticket sales pretty brisk we're over 300 yeah um uh, we got we i think we set for three just under 350 last year i'm shooting to have 350 as our final rsvp number i think you alluded to it last week but you would like to have those uh ticket sales uh, up and then that also gives you an idea of uh, uh, menu requirements right yes the vegetarian option we definitely need to know in advance because we are ordering a limited number of that but we'll have plenty of chicken and plenty of the pork it sounds fabulous uh i know we can't uh, discuss who uh, or whom, but the um, the past chamber uh, citizens of the year got together last week. Did I get that right? And yes, did you, yes, uh, I was in the presence did of you greatness. Bo boil it all down. You got somebody. Yeah, it was it was a very interesting. Um, it's a very interesting mix of folks, um, and they they looked through all the applications. There was some really good discussion. Then they voted on the first vote. It was uh, very obvious who the two winners were and their families have been notified and we are very excited. All right. Fantastic. So all the winners have been picked now and everybody knows their winners. All right. <laughs> uh, outside of the citizens of the year, how many other awards will be handed out? That 16, evening? 16. I think awards. is how many we right. have. Um, this is a big week for Fairfield uh, foodies. Yes. It is... Um, restaurant week. Restaurant week. Now, this is a effort that's being put together by Visit Fairfield, uh, the Fairfield CVB, but I know that you've got... Uh, you're supporting it as well because, um, well, we all like to eat. We all like to eat great food, and that's what we have here in Fairfield. Absolutely. What a great mix we have here. And Terry did a really wonderful job. Um, one of the things about Fairfield restaurants is they all have kind of varied hours. So there's actually a QR code in the handout that she put together for each day of the week so you know who's open that day. All right. So again, uh, I want to say there are 17 establishments uh, celebrating Restaurant Week. Uh, you mentioned the QR code. Why would you want to do that is the question. Well, it's because you could win a $250 gift certificate to your favorite restaurant. I'm going to be eating out all week. <laughs> <laughs> I have an excuse now. <laughs> I have an excuse? You're not brown bagging it this week? Nope. All right. Nope, not doing it. You can learn more at uh, visitfairfieldiowa.com. All right. Uh, some other things on your calendar. We talked about the um, the business, um, the uh, awards banquet, which is coming up later on this month, but I know there's a few things on the calendar you want to highlight today. Yeah, absolutely. So the other great thing is um, Cider House just won one of the top 10 burgers in Iowa, which is pretty fancy. We love them. They just recently put out their calendar for the next few months of their um, live entertainment. So if you haven't seen that, follow them on Facebook. Um Psalm Wine has been having pretty regular, or we'll get back to having regular outdoor music. You know, we, we're looking forward to summer and just spring at this point. I'd like it to be a little warmer in the morning. Um, and so a lot of a lot of things start popping up with those flowers popping up. So there's um, a lot of live music opportunities. And um, the Fairfield Arts and Convention Center, their cinema project is going just amazingly well. I loved that they are there. Every time there's free sm space, they're sticking a movie in it. Um, they've got some pretty good ones coming up. Um, I, I think this week it's 80 for Brady. Yes. Oh my gosh. Does that not look like the fun movie? <laughs> mm, no. Say yes. You want to say yes. The library also has some um, free movies coming up as well. Um, so there's lots of fun things to do there. Cinema Fairfield, by the way, it's 80 for Brady this week. And then next week is the fun movie. It's Cocaine Bear. <laughs> I love that. I love that you know that even. That makes me giggle. Uh, so Walton Club also has the Taste of Walton, which is their biggest fundraiser of the year coming up on April 1st. It's not an April Fool's joke, I promise. It's a for real deal. So that'll be, that's coming right up. Um, oh, and since we were speaking about summer, Preserving the Taste of Summer is coming up at ISU Extension. So keep an eye on them. They're um, getting ready to release their summer youth camps if they haven't already. That's about this time of the year. Um, so get those youngins signed up because it fills up pretty quickly. There's a waiting list 
fairly that, quickly on that one. Yeah, and that preserving the taste of summer, it's an opportunity to learn more about preserving your uh, garden produce, whether it's freezing or canning, uh, preserves, whatever it might Drying be. Drying it, yeah. So you can give them a call at the extension office. I, I love extension. that. I've taken that one. That's a really good class. 472-4166, I think, is the phone number out there. Look at you knowing stuff. Yeah. So we had our first meeting about Barnyard Bash this past week. The committee met to talk about the, um, we read, we really take our surveys um, very seriously. We read through them and we make adjustments to how things work um, based on that. So we'll have more food because that was definitely um, one of our biggest feedbacks is because there were so many people. You, I mean, you can't uh, come, I mean, if you don't no, it's not a thing that people are asking for. We ran out of food pretty quickly. Um, and we have we will be um, spacing out the vendors more so people have more space um, and they can move around more. Um, so that's coming up the first Friday in September. So we're excited about that one. And then Blast Off is right around the corner. Um, if you want to golf, you need to get signed up. Ladies will be playing at the Country Club this year and the gentlemen will be playing at the Walton Club. And the night before, we are bringing back the party again. Um, Cattlemen will have the ribeyes um, meal again. We'll have a smaller auction because we will be making a very big announcement about the party pretty soon. Okay. We're bringing back something else that will be super fun. All right. Fantastic. So again. Blast from the past. That will be uh, middle mid-June, right? Right. June 8 and 9. June yeah. 8 and 9. Uh, and the party will be at the Country Club or the Walton Club? The Walton Club. Maybe it follows the, the gentleman. Okay. It follows the gentleman. Um, it is a transition period between spring and summer. And as you mentioned, uh, live music coming up and the Chamber website is going to be a great spot for you if you're uh, looking for a weekend plan to uh, check out the entire calendar of events there. I will be getting you my calendar for Live on the Square here yes. in the next uh, short little while. I know that Lindsay at the Fairfield Arts and Convention Center will have her summer music program going on as well. It'll be the... Um, First and third Thursday, June, yes. July, and August, I believe, going yes. on. So. Well, and the Depot House, actually, um, we'll, they've been having a lot of DJs and a lot of live music over there. And I'm excited to see that they're opening for lunch now later in the week. So that's a really great um, – if you didn't see um, them post this weekend, I was just blown away by the photos of the food that was there. They had lobster tail and, like, really great steaks. I, I've got to get there. They are one of the 17 restaurants highlighted in yes. the, uh, the uh, Fairfield Restaurant Week, which is going this on this week right through Saturday. So get out and enjoy a restaurant in town. Uh, and again, you'd have a chance to win a number of great prizes. One of those is a drawing for a $250 gift certificate to your favorite restaurant here in Fairfield. Anything else before we let you uh, slide out the door this morning? If you would like to put your swag in our swag bags, um, let me know. We are going to start taking those for both golf and for the uh, gravel ride in September. Okay. All right. Uh, that is it for this edition of Chamber Talk on this Monday morning. Again, you can email the Chamber, chamber at fairfieldiowa.com. Now's the time, if you haven't done it, to make your reservation for the awards banquet coming up later on in the month of April. Also, your reservation for the uh, blast off, men's and women's blast off as well. Mindy, it's always uh, nice to see you. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks. Have a great week.